Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Psychic Bubble Love and you can book your own personal private reading with me on my website, psychicbubblelove.com and you can use coupon code FREE, all in caps, to get an extra 30% off any appointment on the site, excluding emergency appointments for the rest of November 2021. And if you are booking after November 2021, you can use coupon code new all in caps to get extra money off if you are a new client. And both of those codes do work for every appointment on the site, excluding emergency appointments, which are available if you don't want to wait for an appointment to open up with me. You can speak to me within 24 hours. So also, I do not and never will ever again take requests for video readings on YouTube. However, you can join my Patreon at the appropriate tier for the opportunity to do so as well as access completely exclusive content that I never upload to YouTube. And we have lives, we talk about conspiracy theories, all that kind of stuff. So if that's your jam, then you will definitely want to join over there. And that information will be linked in the description box below, as well as my Instagram and my backup channel, which we will start doing celebrity readings live from once we hit that thousand subscriber threshold that YouTube requires for you to be able to go live. So we are going to be taking a look at Queen Nyjah and Clarence. I really have never really ever watched any of their videos, so I don't know a whole lot about these two and other than they had a YouTube channel and now she's a singer or they still do YouTube. I don't know. That part was confusing, but okay. And I already shuffled up the cards and prayed over them before we started so we could jump right in. So I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle and ask Spirit, what do we need to know about these two? Thank you. Asking about Queen Nyjah and Clarence. Thank you, Spirit. There's always like some kind of drama going on with her baby daddy, right? And his name is Chris Sales. Um, I think somebody said... He's dating Clarence's ex-girlfriend. Um, if that's true and you guys know her name, let me know in the comments. I have no idea. <laughs> I was like, I don't really know a whole lot about these people um, and all of their stuff, but their kids are super cute. And tell me if you guys listen to Queen Nyjah as well in the comments. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. I have content coming out every single day until the end of the year. So you don't want to miss out on any of that. And also, if you are new here, I'm using an iPad stand because my regular stand broke. So you, I have no real control over the angles right now. I'll hold up whatever cards are relevant. Okay. So Spirit wanted to talk about things from Clarence's side to start with. Um, I don't get reading these cards and like getting into this energy that he has the same emotional connection to this relationship that she did and spirits talking about like just kind of you know which guys do this a lot you know and younger people too oh that person seems cool I'm gonna date them let's see what happens and then all of these serious life things keep happening and you're just sort of like, well, I guess that's what happens when you're in a relationship, you have a baby, you, you buy a house together, whatever, but like none of it was ever intentional on his part. Like he never sat down and really thought out 
this is how I want the rest of our lives to be together with each other. It was always just sort of going with the flow, going with the flow. And now he's at a point where he's starting to feel trapped in this situation because there is something here about, I don't know if they're engaged or if they, you know, were talking about it, but there is something here about as things move towards a place where now they need to be more serious or she's expecting things to be more serious, he's finding himself feeling more and more trapped in this situation and being like, oh my God, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I want all of that anymore. Like maybe for a minute it seemed like a cool idea, but now not so much. Now this is the thing that makes me not so happy about him is I don't get being super faithful is like a big deal to him, number one. And I also get that he definitely saw dollar signs around Queen Nyjah coming into this relationship. And, you know, this Nine of Cups can sometimes represent not being fully in love or having the same intentions as the other person. And so with that, in our underlying energy, we have the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. There is definitely cheating that has already taken place. And there is a breakup looming on the horizon. And the only reason why he has not left yet is because he's felt like he benefits so much more financially from being in this relationship than he does out of it. And there is like this whole thing of he's been trying to build something for himself outside of this relationship so that should it get to a point where it becomes too much for him or he finds somebody else or she finds out about like what he's doing and kicks him out or whatever happens that he has something else to fall back on and that it's not going to affect his quality of life. Like I can still maintain the same, you know, thing if me and you are no longer together. So unfortunately, I do see this tower card followed by this death card here. And it doesn't feel like he's going to want to work things out with her when everything comes out. He might say so because a lot of times when guys get caught cheating, you know, it's, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Da -da 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 -da. And it's because they can tell you're really upset and it's like, let me, I, I do feel bad. So out of guilt, I'm going to apologize and tell you I want to work things out with you. But then what happens? They still keep going back to the side chick or they find a new side chick or something else happens. And that's really because it's just that person really don't want to be there anymore. But then they start to feel bad when they try to leave or there's another reason why they keep staying. Oh boy. Are they gonna try to get back together after all of this happens? I mean, what is the future between the two of these people? Thank you. Was there some sort of cheating that happened with the two of them getting together? Like they were already communicating when they were still with other people, even if it wasn't like necessarily technically we cheated, but like we were inappropriate friends before or something like that. Because Spirit's saying this relationship came together in a way that wasn't, you know, necessarily the way that we would normally hope to see relationships start on the up and up and so it was always like like it's like it was always destined to not work out and to have something like this be an issue in the way just for karmic reasons and the way that it all began in the first place
this makes sense. Spirit saying she was actually talking about having another baby and trying for a girl because it's like then the kids will all have like you know, they'll all be spaced out evenly, but still young enough that they'll, you know, all be friends growing up and then you can get it all out of the way now. And so it was like, let's try for a girl. And I did, I get that like in the middle of all of this, this is what freaks him out and causes him to go you know, act like a fool and do something to sabotage it so that he can get out of it because he isn't, you know, stepping into his divine masculine and just saying, look, you know, I don't feel like this relationship's working anymore. I don't want to, you know, stay together, much less have another baby right now. But instead of being man enough to say that it's like i'm gonna go cheat and make sure i get caught so that way like we can't actually have another baby together because i don't want to do that so it, the thing is i feel like she might actually have already gotten pregnant like when the cheating stuff comes out and it's like we got pregnant really quick. We didn't know we were pregnant. He went and did this. And as all of this is coming out, I'm finding out I'm pregnant. Because there is something here about him being trapped in another situation with her. And this pregnancy card coming back up again. But again, there's heartbreak around this. It's not the happy family atmosphere that she's hoping for because, you know, just the way that, for example, Kylie thought like, oh my God, me and Travis are finally going to work things out and be a family and all this other stuff is happening that's like tainting that for her right now. It's very similar energy around this if Queen is to get pregnant again. You know, and like I said, she may not end up getting pregnant, but there is a slight chance that she could be pregnant when all of this happens. But it is definitely around wanting to have another baby and him being all freaked out and acting like an idiot instead of just saying, I'm not ready for that right now. Which, girl, you know what? Look at Erica Mena. <laughs> There's, you know, Safari told the whole entire world that he didn't want to have any more kids because the first one was too much work. And then literally three weeks later, Erica's pregnant with their second kid again. And, you know, then it's this big deal about Safari's not doing enough and he messed up and he did this and he did that. And it's like, but... What did we expect? I mean, he basically told the whole world that's how he was going to be because he didn't want any more, you know? So, I mean, at least you're not going to be in an Erica Menon kind of situation. I'd rather find out now, girl. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about these two? Thank you, Spirit. It's definitely going to be a big deal on mine when he gets busted for this. Oh, and expect, you know, that everybody's either going to be looking to see what do the exes have to say about this, you know, or whatever. But, I mean, I feel bad for Queen because it... It feels like it's more than one person too. Like a bunch of girls are all, oh, well, since you're telling your story, let me come out and tell about how he's been in my DMs for the last five years, you know, or whatever. And it is going to be like this landslide, like one person tells their story and then a whole bunch more come to the forefront to talk about their experiences. And... You know, it's hard enough to go through something like that, but especially in the public eye and especially when you really, you know, had a lot of people looking at you as that your relationship was something great when obviously it's not what it appeared to be. 
So I do feel, you know, Queen having to deal with a lot publicly. This is still like a little bit away, you guys. I mean, Spirit's not giving me any exact time frame on when this happening. They're just saying this is the trajectory of where things are headed at this moment. But, you know, just because... I feel like there's going to be, you know, it's going to come out that he's been kind of cheating on her since the beginning on and off. Oh, boy. So, anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead and end that here. I love you guys all so very much. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. Like this video and let me know what did you think about the whole Queen Nyjah Clarence thing. Do you listen to her music? Were you fans of their channel? Um, is this a surprise? Is it not? Like I said, I don't really know much about them. So I don't know how they all got together and who, if anybody cheated or whatnot. But you guys can let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to book your own personal and private reading, join the Patreon, follow my backup channel or my Instagram. That will also be in the description box below. I hope everybody has a good one and I will see you all later. Bye.